you're making these cells competent. You are, in other words, allowing, moving towards introducing genetic material in them, which is, for us, in this environment, illegal. We are not allowed to exhibit this in Holland. Uh, it's illegal. So we can make it, but we are not allowed to exhibit it. Because our hosting organization does not have a license to do it. What do we have here? Pretty much all you need to make competent cells. Uh, making competent cells is, is a matter of taking bacteria and literally skinning off some of their membrane, if you like, to make it sort of uh, porous a little bit. So when you stick this plasmid in, you stick it in, it falls into the body, and it does that because when you, when you take the bacteria, competent cells, you put it in, in a little bit of shock, which is basically going from ice to 42 degrees. They get a shock, they expand slightly, it falls in, and, it, and then you put them back on ice, you lock the plasmid in, and then you pour it into a dish, and voila, you have a genetically modified organism. When you pick the colony, it doesn't grow yet. It's not grown, okay? So it's, it has, needs time to grow. Yeah. How long does it take to grow? Uh, about three yeah, three hours. Three yeah. In a hot room at yeah. 36 degrees. You know what? In a hot room at 36 degrees on a shaker. Okay, these are going in the incubator, Lucas. Uh, yeah. What, what, how much degrees? At uh, 37. should be like this after three hours okay, this and this is a certain turbidity between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 measured against a blank tube at 600 nanometer which is a spectrometer yeah. gently okay and then that goes in there perfect and you spit out that Perfect, and then you go over and you no. get your uh, uh, inoculation. This is the bacteria, the D of the H of the Fab of the What's the name of the bacteria? The name of the bacteria? It's a D H Fab of the And then I put it into the ice, right? And that's it. No, don't. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, that you can put on ice, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've already had it on ice for a long time, so now we're going to centrifuge the cells down to get the cell pellets. Because now we're going to start washing them, so we're going to start treating them. All you need to do here is to balance it. So when you put one on, the next one has to put it in the opposite side. Centrifuge cells for seven minutes at 3,500 RPM okay. at four degrees if possible. Okay. At home, you can try to make one with your blender uh, or washing machine. Basically, you found some E. coli, you take it out, you put it in a tube, you've grown it up, you've got a turbid, then what you're doing now is that you, you're spinning it down, and what happens is that, I've said that already in there, but you, you're getting all the heavy stuff at the bottom, which are the cell pellets, and above is just pure media. And what you'll do when this comes out, you'll tip the pure media into a container, and then you should see some small cell pellets at the bottom, hopefully. If you want to start adding magnesium chloride to your, to your stuff, you can do so. We then put one in four volume of 
magnesium chloride. This, this, should, this should always be kept cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, come back in suspension. Uh, here it's just suspension. Calcium chloride will start to shred off the, the, the wall a little bit. Is this the part Sorry. that you're skinning it off? No, this no. calcium chloride is more the skinning okay. off a bit. Yeah. Um, okay, so how are we doing with the centrifuge? Find your tube. <laughs> uh, you pour out the um, liquid. liquid. You resuspend it. This time in calcium chloride. Yeah. Twice. So you be the first bunny. One. And you prepare the other one to be two fifty. You're washing them, so you yeah, yeah. keep working at it. We should just put this on the air inside. Back in, back in, back in. Sorry, do you know we we have to put this on this, right? Dat is nog wel oefenen om over de psyche van de cel te praten. Daar heb ik nog geen ervaring mee. Made a turbid, yeah? yeah. Great. So you can put that on the ice. We just we just resuspended them in the other fluid, and now we need to centrifuge them again. But first, we need to wait about 30 minutes for them to cool. Yes, this is this is how you do it. So it's third time, tenth time. One, two, three, four, and I'm fifth. Okay. Okay. Cell pellets again in here. White something. There's yeah, a there. little residue. Yeah. So this is good. This is really good. First of all, it's magnesium. Where do we pour this from? Once we put the calcium chloride on now. We don't want to. We don't want to keep them in too hot environment. That's why they're they're ready to go straight onto heat shock now, because the the, the membrane is porous and everything is ready to go. I, I think if we actually shock the cells, they will absorb the DNA, so we'll break the contract. So <laughs> why, why do why do we have to do then this step? Because I'm not clear with the this calcium uh, kind of depolarizes the membrane of the cell. That's what we did here. Oh, we did, we, we did it again. Now. Do it again. What does this Glycerol plus, plus glycerol is, glycerol, a, okay. is like a conservant. It, it keeps the cells stable for a longer period of time. Okay. Glycerol will, will allow them to uh, be stored at minus 80. Yeah. So it's a combination of two, me of two media that allows you to do this. Media and, and a conservant or preservant. Yeah. No. What am I, what am I doing <laughs> now? I'm following protocol. <laughs> What's the protocol the here? The protocol is adding calcium chloride. Well, I'm going to leave it open. Okay. And then we Can I have a hand with this one? Thank you. Or three or four hands. So wait a second, did you add? Uh, yeah, I added uh, from the middle to something. This one? 
No, no. This the one. middle one. This uh, one? Yes. It's I called think that CICL, yes. Yeah. Calcium chloride, okay. And then this should be 550. That should be the right amount. 500, yeah, 500, okay. One, eh? Only one. Was it only one? Now we're getting towards the final bit, which is a long waiting step, uh, but it takes about uh, half an hour. So we're down, I guess we got 15 minutes left. And then once we're done with that, we'll spin it down and resuspend it in the final media. And then what will happen is that you'll have, uh, um, we will take this back to the lab and basically see if they can be transformed, if they're competent. So we're close, but 15 minutes to go. We have an extra. So, so what do we do now? Do you see one with field 14 on it? Does it say 14? No, this is fine. This is not the one I think. Uh, what's this one? So this is 14 now. So you should have a very small amount of the finish if you look at it too. That's a 14 still. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So that's bare, and the, so this is your counterweight. Okay. Okay. So now we can spin it again. I'm sorry. That's okay. I messed up. So. We should have checked, right? Brilliant. Yeah. Huh? Uh, because uh, they made a little mistake. A little. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to kill them at some point, but uh, uh, we'll bleach. Yeah. Uh, wrap it up. That's it. I mean, we did it. Uh, I have um, a bunch of competent cells here. I think one or two bottles didn't make it, uh, but that's okay. So the big question is, will this still some sort of work? Uh, so we will definitely try to send you these results out as soon as we have them. 